Hello, I am Advocate Nikita Pandit and I will be speaking on Assignment and Transfer of Trademark Rights and you are watching Legal Bytes. The main objective of this video is to understand how the registered user of the trademark can transfer his rights to another person and get the economic benefits out of it. We have already seen what is a trademark. It is a sign, symbol or a name which is an identity of the goods or services like the people have names which help us in distinguishing them from another persons. The trademarks help us to distinguish the goods or services belonging to one person or an enterprise from the others. Trademark is a transferable intellectual property. It passes on to the legal heirs on the death of the trademark owner. Another transfer of trademark is by the way of assignment. It is when the ownership in the rights of a trademark are transferred for a consideration to the purchaser, usually by entering into an agreement. As per Section 2B of the Trademarks Act 1999, it is clearly mentioned that the assignment is the one where it is made in writing. Black's Law Dictionary explains assignment as any act wherein the person transfers or causes to transfer his whole right, interest or property to another person. This is not a mere delivery but a proper return transfer by the owner. Chapter 5 of the Trademarks Act 1999 has the provisions related to the assignment and transfer of trademark rights in India. Section 37 of the Act gives the right to the owner of the trademark to assign his rights to any other person in return of consideration. Section 38 contains a non obstantive clause which means that this provision overrides any other contrary law and that the trademark in any case is a transferable and assignable right as per this section. It may be with the goodwill or without the goodwill of the business of the trademark owner. What is a goodwill? Goodwill is the reputation of the business, which in this case is the reputation of the business which is associated with its brand, trade name or logo by which the public recognizes the business. Goodwill is an intangible asset of the business. It is also provided in this section that even the unregistered trademark can be transferred. Now there are some cases where the trademark cannot be assigned or transferred. As per section 40 of the act, in any circumstances the trademark cannot be assigned or transferred where the trademark will cause confusion or deceit if the rights which are in uh, that trademark are exercised by the transferee or by the assignee by the reason of there being identical or resembling trademark of another person where that person uses it for similar goods or services or similar description of goods or services or associated goods or services as that of the mark in question. However, the assignment or transfer is not considered invalid if there is an exclusive right with the transferor or assigner to use such trademark in relationship with his goods or services which are to be sold or commercially used in India or outside India. Now in order to assign the rights in such cases, the owner has to give a statement to the registrar that he is proposing to assign his trademark. The registrar has the discretion to give the certificate or not. As per section 41, in any circumstances the trademark cannot be assigned or transferred if such assignment or transfer shall cause the use of trademark commercially where there is an exclusive right to be enjoyed for the use of such trademark with respect to such goods or services in India in case of goods or services where they, they are of similar description or are same or are associated with that trademark and such other mark having exclusivity. It nearly resembles or is identical to the trademark in question. In such cases, if the proprietor makes an application to the registrar that since the time the statute came into force, the title of the trademark was transferred to him or to his predecessor, then if the registrar feels that it is right, he may approve the transfer if it is not against the public interest. Now in both the above cases, that is section 40 and 41, if someone wants to prove 
that the approval by the proprietor was obtained from the registrar by fraud or misrepresentation he can do so if he has made an application of entitlement that is registration to the registrar within 6 months from when the approval was given to such first proprietor or in case of transmission if his application was made before the time when the transmission to first proprietor was approved by the registrar as per section 42 of this act if the registered or unregistered trademark is transferred by assignment without the goodwill of the previous user the assignment takes effect only after the application is made to the registrar to issue the directions how to advertise that trademark within 6 months from the assignment or to the maximum 3 more months and not later than that for example in cases where the assignment is made only of some goods or services or if in case of exports the goodwill if it is transferred only for export business such application is to be obtained a certification trademark is as per section 2e the one which is certified by the proprietor in respect of origin material and quality or the mode or ma- mode of manufacture or performance of services or which shows some accuracy as compared to the ones which are not certified or registrable the example of certification mark is isi mark which shows the standard of goods as per the bureau of indian standards another example is organic india which certifies the mode of production of the merchandise as per section 43 of the act these certification marks cannot be assigned or transferred to another person however if the registrar consents doing it it can be done associated trademarks are explained in section 16 of the act they are the ones that are identical to one another and belong to the same proprietor used by him for the same goods or services or where the description of the goods or services is the same or if the marks resembles so much that it may be capable of confusing or de- de- deceiving the public the example uh, suppose is apple apple is the trademark and so the trademark in its uh, is used in its products like apple iphone ipods i watch and other such goods provided by the apple they must be registered as associated trademarks these associated trademarks can be assigned or transferred as a whole for example apple in this case the apple itself the whole can be transferred but it is considered as a whole only for the purpose of assignment or transfer and for all the other reasons they are considered as separate and independent as given in section 44 now there was one case messrs johnson appliances versus messrs h e industries and others this was the case which was decided by delhi high court an application was made for interim injunction it was filed to stop the defendants and their authorized persons from using the trademark johnson in relation to electric water heaters including the instant geysers as such use would cause infringement this was the case of multiple assignments of the associated trademarks and applications in johnson were the one of uh, one for the electric storage water heater and it was taken separately by another one of the defendants contended that the assignment was forged and accordingly the trademark was split into water heater including instant type geysers the proprietorship was with the classic equipments and the one without the instant type geysers the proprietorship was with vidyut udyog which was later taken over by the plaintiffs again the court gave some important holdings regarding the assignment the first is once the assignment is made the assigner then cannot claim the right over the pending applications if any person retires as the director of the company and then he claims the rights on the basis of the assignment deed is a clear indication of malefied intention which in this case was the defendant number 4 any order passed or entry made in the registrar as against the assignment terms or if there is any change in constitution not in consonance with the assignment then the same is null and void when any entry is made in the registrar the proprietor cannot be denied of the rights on the grounds of misrepresentation or fraud 
if the same is acquired by a valid document. In short, wrong entry on the part of the registrar would not hamper the valid rights. In these circumstances, the court ordered injunction in favor of the plaintiff and also awarded costs to be paid by defendant number 4. Whenever a person wants his title registered for the trademark, he has to apply to the registrar to make such registration of trademark in his name. If the registrar is satisfied with the proofs attached, he can grant the registration and then enter such details in the register as per section 45 of the Act only if such registration is not disputed. If such transfer or assignment is not mentioned in the register, the same cannot be used as an evidence by any court and even the registrar. It can be used as an evidence only if the appellate board or court issues such directions. One more case is Sun Pharmaceutical Industries versus CIPLA. In this case, the plaintiff was not yet a registered user of a trademark, so the question was whether he has the right to institute a suit of infringement. It was held that if the assigner is allowed to exercise the rights even after divesting his rights by assignment agreement and the assignee is denied such right merely by the reason of non-registration of assignment yet, this will cause havoc in the field of assignment and trading in the trademarks. The court took the view of the preceding cases, Mod Modi Treads, Grandly Electricals and AstraZeneca. That was the case of UK, that the rights shall be governed by the assignment agreement even when the register shows that the assigner is the proprietor. So these are some important provisions related to the assignment and transfer of trademarks. Thank you. Mm -hmm.